Guybrush Threepwood is back in town. Hey guys and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer and welcome to Trailer Talk, the show where I'm going to be looking at a bunch of adventure game trailers, both old and new. If that sounds like your cup of tea, then I only create adventure game content, things like Monkey Island and Broken Sword, all the old stuff and new stuff. Um, if that sounds like your, uh, your bag, then please make sure that you smash that like, hit subscribe and turn on notifications. Right, let's go for the knockout blow for the brand new trailer of Monkey Island. Gilbert told me he'd never make another Monkey Island unless... Something that I thought I'd never see, it's a brand new Monkey Island from Ron Gilbert. He announced this just about a week ago and the internet went crazy, or rather the adventure game internet went crazy. I did a little quick wrap up video on the day when it was released with some questions I had and just looking at the trailer. So not much is known about this except that it is coming out in 2022. They are currently recording voiceovers and that is generally the last thing to happen on a game. So I wouldn't be surprised if it comes out within the next couple of months. This game is set directly after LeChuck's Revenge, but as you'll see in the trailer, it does feature Murray. So there are going to be aspects of the um, of Monkey 3 that are going to be in there because he has said that Monkey 3 is canon. There's been no word on Monkey 4 and 5 though, so who knows? Only time will tell. There's not much more to go on except for that, and Ron tweets every now and again um, silly things like he is now known as Ron Brush and Dave Grossman is Le Dave, which I think is adorable. If you'd like to discover more about Monkey Island and updates, then make sure that you're subscribed to this channel because I'll be covering it extensively. As much excitement as Monkey Island has brought, there are actual other games out there, and here's one that I discovered which is coming out pretty soon. This is Voodoo Detective. I don't know where these came from, but they've got to go. I'm a little disappointed in the trailer to be honest because the screenshots of this look amazing. I'm going to post some here for you now so you can see it. The trailer, yeah, it's fun and funky, but it doesn't show you any of the gameplay. Um, but it is pretty much out in a couple of weeks. It's out on the 3rd of May. And that comes from Short Sleeve Studio. It's all hand-drawn and generally to me looks great. There's no demo, I'm afraid, but we'll just launch straight in on the 3rd of May, I guess. Let me know what you think of Voodoo Detective. Apart from the massive news on Monkey Island, there's little news from me. I am restarting my podcast, but I'm not going to let you know too much about it because I'm actually doing it. Um, I'm not doing it alone. I'm going to bring someone else in and we're going to have a good time talking to adventure game developers, adventure game players and uh, voiceover artists, uh, pixel artists, all all the um, all the scene uh, basically all in one spot so if that sounds like something that you're interested in let me know down below and if you are a developer uh, let me know down below and we can get you on to have a chat i'd love to promote the genre both old games and new so even if you've not worked on a game in a while and had one out a couple of years ago then by all means we can get you on and talk about the game and play the game and show people that adventure games yeah they're definitely here and talking about old games make it a comeback missed 
I mean, I guess it never really went away because it had about 15 different versions of it. But now you can play Mist Golf. Essentially, it's a DLC for Walkabout Mini Golf. And it's, yeah, it's set in the world of Mist. And it comes from Mighty Coconut, who have developed Walkabout Mini Golf, and the original Mist creators, Cyan World. So if you're a fan of Mist and golf, I guess you can go and play 36 holes in Mist. There you go. So Monkey Island from Ron Gilbert, there's Mist in there. And a couple of weeks ago we had Ken and Roberta Williams. It's like it's the 90s all over again. Now finally another little bit of news. There's a couple of official soundtracks that have been released recently. So the official soundtrack for The Hand of Glory is now out. You can get that from Steam. And also the official soundtrack from Gemini Roo. Both games are really, really good. I did a full Let's Play of The Hand of Glory, which was out a couple of years ago. Really good Broken Sword style vibe point and click adventure game and then i streamed at gemini Roo last year and had a whale of a time so let's show those two trailers back to back the leading story dealt with the disappearance of a young girl a teenage victim katherine mulsberg the killer was giving me an appointment in a west miami alley but that wasn't the most absurd thing the most absurd thing is that i'd probably have gone Lazarus Bundy in my place. You are Lazarus Bundy? I was the detective who flushed out all the cruelest and smartest criminals on the East Coast. Seriously? Uh, what's your name? I'm Alice Sharp, the new intern. Kinesics is a science that studies body language. It helps me understand if a person is being honest. Maybe that girl could really be useful to me. Catherine had no enemies. She had the sunniest smile I'd ever seen in my life. Catherine was a very joyful girl. Everybody loved her. The Mulsberg case is hiding more than it seemed in the beginning. Sitlalikwe. The word itself is a proper name of an Aztec deity. It seems to be a ship anchored in Miami right now. It was like holding something alive. I could sense its power running through my veins. I couldn't leave that girl to her destiny. Somebody is not happy with the progress we're making. Many influential forces are at work in this story, Mr. Bundy. No way I'll give up. Just hear me, kid. You can't work anymore. It's not redemption you need now. I was going to be alone. For the last time. Catherine Molesberg must be found, and her kidnappers brought to justice. Look for my symbol. Somehow I knew this was going to happen. They got him while I was getting my family off world to Colony 4. Asriel, do you really want to go back there just after we escaped? He's my brother. I'm not going to leave him behind. change who he is, something that I couldn't do. If I can help him do that, then maybe, maybe I can live with myself.
The Hand of Glory there from Madit Entertainment and Gemini Roo from, of course, Wajitai. If you've enjoyed today's episode, I'd really appreciate it if you'd give me a big thumbs up there and uh, all that good stuff. And until next time, have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is you're doing right now. Take care.